So none of us want to feel powerless, right? I mean, we do our best to avoid situations where we might feel that way. And if we do feel that way, we can come up with all kinds of coping mechanisms that convince us that we're not as powerless as we actually are. are. Um, but we are. We're constantly in situations where we have no control over what's happening or what might be happening. And we have no control over the people around us and what they might do. Um, writing this book was, um, that was part of the discipline, was being in a place my, myself with the, with the characters where there was very little that, um, that we had control over. And of course that sounds like a, um, contradiction because as a writer theoretically you're supposed to have control over everything and be able to make anything happen in any way you want um, but that's usually most writers will tell you that's usually not the way it works and especially with um, this book where powerlessness was really really part of the the key theme um, it was, it was a constant state. There was a constant state of feeling that and being aware of that and having to allow myself to feel it both in, in the writing and um, in the stead of the, the characters. Um, and that's really uncomfortable. It's really not a place any of us enjoy very much and it's also not a place that lends itself to a Zen Buddhism kind of bullshit narrative about, you know, accepting the universe. It's, it's really, to really feel your powerlessness uh, is not an, an, an essentially accepting perspective. It brings out all of these other kinds of feelings like rage and anger and all of these kinds of negative things that that come out of us in response to to not being able to to do anything or to feel feeling like we're not able to do anything um so it's not some kind of acceptance of of the universe or some kind of Zen um, state of oneness, or at least I don't think it is for a very long time. I think um, I think it brings out a lot of aspects of each of us that we really don't want to look at, and that we really have a hard time acclimating ourselves to, um, and that we would prefer to believe aren't there at all.